There have been several cases of sex assault and abuse at Illinois State University so far this fall. The most recent incident reported to police this week. It is Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Caitlin Canute. Thank you for joining us tonight. Mike Militich talked to university police and administrators to see how they're handling it. It is tonight's top story. Illinois State University requires students to take an online consent class before they start classes as freshmen. But this fall, there's already been three cases of sexual assault and one case of sexual abuse. Police say, sadly, that's closer to the average than some may think. Numbers wise, I don't think we're any, anywhere uh, better or worse than we, we've been in the past. ISU Police Chief Aaron Woodruff says people are hearing about more of the sexual assault cases because more students are reporting them to campus police. A change in state law several years ago also made it easier for hospitals to share evidence with police departments. Now when the hospital calls, departments have to make a police report either way, whether the victim chooses to or not. So there is at least some limited information that's documented. Another change to the law allows friends or family to report on someone else's behalf. If the victim or survivor hasn't consented to it, uh, at least in institutions of higher ed, we still report it through other channels through our Title IX. It may not necessarily just be a police report in those cases. But ISU administrators say sexual assault and abuse on campus can be prevented if people understand the importance of consent. This is uh, the responsibility that everyone has to take. It's not just on one side or the other uh, in an incident. It's really everyone's responsibility. This year, all three alleged victims of sexual assault have decided not to press criminal charges. University police say if that is their choice, police will document the basic information and try to help the student move forward. We try to provide a lot of support uh, and information to them about the process, uh, but we cannot compel uh, people to pursue this uh, if, if they don't wish to. We'll have links to those resources on our website, week.com. In Normal, Mike Militich, 25 News.